I'm Anil Kumar. We'll discuss geometric distribution in this particular video. We know that in geometric distribution, we may have n trials for a success. That is to say, the first n minus 1 trials are failures and that is followed by a success. Right? So in this video, we'll prove that sum of probabilities for this is always 1. So what do we mean by n trials for a success? It really means that uh, we have series of failures first. Let's say failure, failure, failures and so on. The series of failures is followed by a success. So when we say total number of trials is n, so n is the total number of trials from here to there. Out of those n trials, n minus 1 are the failures. And the nth trial is a success. So nth trial is success. So we are looking for probability in such cases, right? So we have n minus 1 failures followed by a success and total number of trials is n. As you can very clearly see here, this is, uh, these are the n Bernoulli's trials. Since we have only two outcomes which are success or failure and all are independent events in this trials. Probability of success will remain same. So we'll say probability for success is lowercase p, right? And we'll use probability for failure as a q, which is one minus p. Okay, so the that is what we're discussing. Now let's look into the probability of such an event. So if we have n minus 1 failures, probability of each being q followed by one success with probability p, then what is the probability of this random variable n? That is n minus 1 failures, that means q to the power of n minus 1 times p, right? So that becomes the probability. Now as you can see, in this distribution, you could have success in the very first turn, right? So, so if you see, the series will be kind of like this. We may have success. We may have a failure and then success. We may have two failures and then success or three failures and then success and so on, correct? So, so that is a general term for us. Or we may just have failures, failures, and failures. So, so it is an infinite series. It is infinite series because, uh, you know, success may not come, right? So it's kind of an infinite series. So if we do sum of all the probabilities, that means sum of all these values, that is sum of q to the power of n minus 1 to p, where n is all the natural numbers from 1 to infinity, right? Since it could be an infinite series. So that becomes the sum of all the probabilities. Now, let me expand this. If I substitute n as 1, I get uh, q to the power of 0, p, plus n as 2. So we get q times p. If n is 3, q square p, n is 4, q, q, p, and so on. Now, q to the power of 0 is 1, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, we see p is common. So, we can take p as common. So, we get this term is 1, q to the power of 0 is 1, plus q, plus q square, plus q, q, plus so on. Now, Within the brackets, you find that series 1 plus q plus q square plus q cube and so on. This is a geometric series, correct? This is a geometric infinite series. Whose sum is equals to a over 1 minus r, where r is a constant ratio and r should be always less than 1. Is it okay? r should always be less than 1. Only then this series converges, right? Otherwise it will not converge. Correct? 
In this case, we know Q, Q plus P is 1, so Q is less than 1, correct? Q is less than 1, so therefore, we can write this as P times, what is the A value? A is 1 for us, in our case, A equals to 1, R equals to Q. So when I substitute that, I get 1 over 1 minus Q, 1 minus Q. Now, 1 minus Q is P, so get P times 1 over P, and that is indeed equals to 1. So sum of probabilities as expected should be 1, and here is a proof for that. So I want to Kumar, I hope that is absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.